So how do you review a pull request? If we open up the pull requests page on GitHub, you'll see a list of PRs which are pending review. Accessing one of them by clicking on one of the commits included in this PR takes you to the code changed in that commit. Obvious so far. Now here you'll see a ton of changes, always in the form of old and new, how the file was and how it is now after the change. And this is fine until you want to see some context around the change. You aren't seeing the complete file here of course because, well, why would you want to see the whole file? You're only interested in the parts that changed since you last looked. And that's fine, again, until you need some context. You cannot click on a class name here or an object and go to its usages and see what it's used for. You only get the smaller picture of the changes. Now what you can do for a clearer version of the changes is go here, ask GitHub to open this PR in the GitHub client on your desktop. Here you now can see the files that changed organized in a better way, probably, just listed one after the other. But you still cannot jump around here, because again, that's not required when you have context and know exactly what to look for, which is the case for most PRs. But there are cases, hence this video, where you have not seen the project for some time now and have no context about the PR and don't know what to look for. In this case, what you want to do is jump over to your IDE by pulling the code to your desktop already in the previous step or doing it manually through Git. You now already have the code pulled and the branch switched to this PR for you to view. So what you need to do here is just simply count how many commits were included in this PR and roll back the repository to how it was before those two commits so that they would become unstaged. Unstaged means that the changes are there, but they're not staged, they're not committed. So they will still be highlighted in blue and yellow, depending if they were just changed or completely new. And the color depends on your IDE but this is IntelliJ we're talking about. And now you can look at the entire thing, all the changes, in the context of the project you're in. IntelliJ will highlight for you here in the gutter the parts that have changed and the parts that are completely new. Now you can do all the jumping around that you need to figure out how each change or addition is affecting the rest of the code.